What is up, YouTube? Back in the garage again. Been kind of on hiatus. I got the cam chest locked down. Got the forks rebuilt. Just washed up the cylinders and the parts washer because it still had a bunch of machining oil in them. So went through, cleaned all those up. I'm going to file the edges of the base. Just knocked down that high powder lip. And then we're going to throw the pistons in and get the cylinders on today. Uh, lots of things happening. Ended up picking up an Evo Sporty. Don't need it, but price was right, right down the road. Runs, dry, stops, and titled. So that'll hold over justice on the chopper while we dig into that one. But it's a whole other video, so look at that one. More projects that I don't need. This one's less of a project, which isn't that bad. But I'm going to turn you guys around, and we will get rolling on these pistons and cylinders. Okay, all sorts of goodies here. Uh, Hastings ring set. I think they went 10 over here. What else we got in the box? We got the circlips, we got the wrist pins, and spiral locks, it looks like. So get rid of some of this stuff. Cylinders are going to sit off to the side for now. I'm not doing anything with those. But let's throw these piston rings on, and then get these mounted onto the pistons. All right, so 60 over. I couldn't even remember. It's been so long since we've done these. 60 over, uh, micro slick coating on the skirts, high temp ceramic coating on the crowns. So we can get these piston rings opened up and we'll go through the install. Okay, we got the pistons laid out here. So what we are going to do is start putting these back together. Let's start with the oil rings. Pistons are kind of in the orientation that they should go. If I remember correctly, this notch is on the intake. So this is the rear intake, front intake. If you can see, there's a machine lip here, flat edge here. I think the flat side goes towards the exhaust. But we'll start with the oil rings. We'll use that when we get to the other ones, but not overly concerned on the oil ring at this juncture. The big thing on the oil rings, make sure that this inner one does not overlap. Here's the break in it right here. Here's the gap right here. Make sure that those are not overlapped. You want them free in there. And with the big crown on these pistons, I'm not going to try and jam this all the way down into the piston ring land. I'm going to walk it in. So right now we're in that first ring land. Then we'll bring it down. Got the lower one on already. So once that's on, I'll just kind of run this one around. Oil rings are a lot easier to get in. But that's good there. Same thing on both of these. We'll just go one at a time here. So again, this is kind of what I was talking about. Don't overlap these. Sometimes these will overlap or get stuck together. That's not good. You will not have a good time trying to get that back together. We'll do a ring wrap here into the first groove. And then we'll start dropping it down. Just kind of walk it around. Now we're on the top side of this oil ring. And then... That's fine. Maybe that can stay at the top. And this one will drop to the bottom. Going a little backwards here, but that's fine. Oil rings are in. And we'll move on to number two. There should be a dot on here somewhere. The dot and the chamfer. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but there's a chamfer to this ring. Dot faces up. Put a little spit on it. There's a dot right here on the piston ring. This is going to go up towards the top of the piston. And on this one, I will try to use my ring tool. Number two there. Ring expander. These are super cheap at the auto parts store. I recommend one for these. The crown on this piston, it's got like that Hemi style. It's 
it's really big. So, I like to use the ring expanders instead of trying to wrap the rings around over this hemi, uh, over the crown of the piston. So we got the dot right here, dot's up again. The other issue you run into when you do the, uh, ring wrap as opposed to using a compressor tool is you'll actually kind of put a little bit of a bend in the ring this way. So by the time you get it on, a lot of times the ring will be, I'll show you here, if you do the wrap you're going to end up putting flex on the ring this way, you don't really want that. And the top number one rings also have a dot again, snap these together in the tool, spread them. Drop it down, like so. Again, look for your dot. Sometimes if you lick your finger and get that a little wet, it'll give you a cleaner visual if you need it. Hastings, in my opinion, is usually pretty good about their rings. There we have it. Rings are back in. Now, orientation-wise, we're going to lay out this stuff in a little bit. I'm not too worried about that yet. We still need to lube all of these up too, but that'll come in a minute. Now, onto the wristbands. First thing I like to do is just make sure that they slide in proper like they're supposed to for a dry fit. Way tighter than I want that to be. Alright, so put a little assembly lube on this wrist pin. I'm gonna lube up the piston a bit too. Don't know why that was so snug going in. But hoping that with a little bit of lube on here, this should kind of fix itself. Yeah, there we go. So obviously this is going to have to come back off, but I just want to make sure that this is going to slide in proper. Use a half inch socket on here. Push this pin back through. But I can push them through. So just a little bit of roughness on the edge of this casting, but I think that's okay. We're good to go there. So now what I'm going to do is put one spiral lock in. Do I have spiral locks? Yeah. All right, so the spiral locks on the pistons. I like to stretch these a little bit, like so. Then we're gonna go through here and get this set in the groove. Let me grab a pick here. Now with the spiral lock, they're much worse to get out of the motor, but now I got a little bit of tension down here. Get this one set into the groove where it's supposed to be, then we're just going to kind of walk this around. Now I'll take the pick, and basically just walk this into that groove. Make sure it doesn't go too far.
So once you finally catch that first two, you just kind of walk it around, keep pressure going down. And that last little bit, you're just going to want to kind of pry up and down. Just like that. Snap rings are in on one side. Got some assembly lube on this connecting rod. Put a little bit more in here. Put that run down. Wrist pin is lubed up. Uh, spiral clip is on this side of the piston. Just going to go on the primary side. One that I already lubed up. I'm gonna line these up roughly in the wrist pin bore. And just like that, that's how that's supposed to go. Not gonna worry about setting that one in right this second. I'm just gonna get both of these wedged in. But that, now that we put the snap rings in first, wrist pin will bottom out on the other side. So let me work this wrist pin in. It worked fine on here once I had everything looped up. Again, kind of dry fitting this. I'll do that off camera because I just did that on the last one and then we'll be right back. All right, front cylinder. Same deal, we'll try and line these up. Like that. Unfortunately, I did flip-flop these, so that's going to be kind of tedious. But now we got both of these in. Oh, I got to do. I'm going to sock it through here, an extension. I'm holding the piston here. Not going too crazy, but dead blow, holding the piston in just to drive it. That wrist pin all the way so it's seated. Hopefully you guys heard the sound change there. Just like that. Now we got room for the snap ring. In the groove. So we get to wrestle another one of those in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. In a second. Basically walking around the snap ring while putting pressure on it to get it back into the groove until we get down to this last little edge. Just like that. Piston spins and moves free on the rod, so that's good. Now I gotta go around to the other side and put this last snap ring in. Okay, second one. supposed to go in. I don't know why the last batch was so difficult. But that right there is what we're looking for. That wasn't too bad at all. Nice and quick. 
make sure everything free floats like so. And now we get to just prep the cylinders and drop these jugs on.